Hey everyone, this is Android Cemetery, and in this video, I'm going to show you the two main methods of denoising your renders and cycles, and also which method will give you the best results. So the first method is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Right now, I've got a pretty simple scene. I've just got the Suzanne monkey and a point light. So first, I'm going to go into my render properties, change the render engine to cycles, and then where it says sampling, click the drop down box, go to denoising and tick where it says render. You can also tick the viewport if you want to see what it looks like in the viewport before you render. So with the render ticked, we can see in this drop-down box, we have two options, NLM and Open Image Denoise. So there are a few reasons why you would choose one or the other, but essentially Open Image Denoise is usually much faster and it's more ideal for animations. Whereas NLM, which although it is slower, gives you a much better result. So it's more ideal for a single image. So we're going to choose NLM and then just go to render and render image. So you can see now we've got a pretty decent result from our first method. The second method I'm going to show you requires slightly more effort, but you'll get a much better final image. So the first thing that we want to do to get started with the second method is we want to actually turn this off because we don't need it. And we actually want to go into the compositing editor. We want to click here, use nodes. I'm just going to select this one and move it apart. And I want to add in a denoising node. So Shift A, go to Filter, Denoise. I just want to drag this up over here. So on Image, In Image, and then again Image, In Image. So right now this Render node doesn't have all of the options and settings that I need to plug into this Denoise node. So I want to go into View Layer Properties, and then where it says Passes, Data, I want to tick Denoising Data. And you can see that when I click Denoising Data, the options for the Render Layers appears. And I pretty much just want to connect denoising normal to normal and denoising albedo to albedo. I want to go back to my layout and then that's it. You can just go to render and render your image out. And that's pretty much the full process of how you denoise your final renders. So denoising in your render properties can be very effective, especially if you want to do a really quick render. But ideally, you want to want to stick with the second method of adding a denoise node in the compositing editor for a better result. So I hope you guys found the video useful and I'll see you guys next time.